Good morning. Welcome to. Welcome to my first true vlog that I'm filming in 2024. Um, it's a very exciting time. I woke up feeling sick today. I don't feel that good. My period camps are crazy right now, but I took some painkiller and it's helping. And get this, I like had lights out at 11.45 last night. I didn't wake up a single time until 9.30, nine and a half hours. My body needs so much more sleep when it's going through its menstrual cycle. And I guess it also needed to fight off some sickness. Okay, I'll stop talking with her. If you're new here, hi, my name is Chelsea. I'm a 30 something living alone here in New York City. I'll just be honest that my mental health hasn't been so great lately and I found myself in kind of a slump. So in this video, I'm going to prioritize doing things I know will make me feel better and more connected as well as continue with the positive fitness habits that I've already established. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, then I invite you to stick around. Last year, um, around this time I went sober for my goal was for a hundred days at the beginning of the year I think I was already at um, 60 days sober or something like that while that was extremely challenging and very Isolating doing that completely changed my life and my health the entire year I will continue to benefit from that for the rest of my life um, definitely need a drink No. <laughs> definitely need a break from drinking <laughs> I have known that I've needed to take better care of myself. I'm gonna make a coffee, but I guarantee I won't finish it. It's felt like my body has wanted to, but my brain wouldn't let me. It's hard to explain, but today I feel like I'm finally ready to start turning this ship back around. I'm feeling optimistic. So I'm eating a breakfast, coffee, OJ. I'm trying to drink like five times as much water today as I normally do. I just wanna kick this cold. So a part of my health journey in the new year is continuing to incorporate simple bite-sized yet effective workouts into my routine. You may remember a clip from a Vlogmas video from last month where I was out running in 35 degree weather. I'm out here running. I'm using this app. It's helping me hold myself accountable. Which is exactly what we're gonna be talking about today, a fitness made easy app called Copilot, who is the sponsor of today's video. It's not just a fitness app, it's a ongoing one-on-one -on -one experience with a professional coach, like an actual human being who cares about your well-being. And you create your personalized fitness plan together based on whatever your goals are and whatever equipment that you may or may not have. And that process was really seamless for me. It felt like Copilot was really fitness made easy. I always find it difficult to stick to anything fitness related. If there's not an end goal and if I'm not training for something and if someone is not holding me accountable, sometimes my own accountability just is not enough, which is why I've had a lot of success using Copilot over the last two months. Everyone needs to meet my coach Megan. She's so sweet. Hi Chelsea, welcome to Copilot. I'm Megan and I'll be your coach. I had my introductory call with coach Megan pretty soon after I finished the marathon. This is just an opportunity for us to get to know each other a little bit better. Help me to understand your goals and then we'll put together a game plan for you moving forward. I'm gonna be able to know that I like can wake up and be able to move my body and, and feel like that's something that I look forward to instead of being like, oh, I have to get off the couch now. We discussed where I was currently at with my fitness journey, if there are any specific goals I had, if I had any injuries, what my fitness strengths were, what my fitness weaknesses were. So maybe we do strength on Monday when you're feeling good, feeling strong. Wednesday can be a run and then Friday can be Pilates and kind of ease into the weekend that way. Does that sound good? I love that. So I'm not feeling super well today, but I feel good enough to move my body a little bit, maybe break a little bit of a sweat. But if I know if I ever needed to, I could just message Coach Megan on the Copilot app. And Coach Megan always gets back to me super quick to help create a game plan. Having that flexibility is key. 10 seconds left. That's actually her voice. Today is a full body strength training workout for 14 minutes. Up next is 30 seconds of body weight squat. Start. Woo! Like, I never used to be able to do that. <sighs> I can't put my legs out straight. 10 yet. seconds left. Up next is 30 seconds of plank. That's time. <sighs> so that felt really good. So now I'm gonna go submit my workout. Enjoy the rest of your day. So that's today's workout. I feel, I do feel a bit better. Um, I definitely got the blood flowing, broke a sweat a bit. It's a beautiful day, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna stay inside for today. So I'm feeling kind of motivated to breathe some fresh air. 
And here I am going for a little walkie walk around my neighborhood in Queens. To be honest, I rarely go on walks. I don't actively avoid it, but I just naturally want to get from point A to point B and ignore the rest. But I got to admit, some of these moments are super pretty and very cute. And oh my gosh, okay, I had to stop to videotape this little black squirrel. He's sitting there all innocent like, but just wait for it. Yeet! A black squirrel. You don't see those very often. I did not plan this, but I think we're going to get to Astoria Park right as the sun's about to set. Don't jump on me, says I'm antisocial. You're so wrong. I I can leave the house and make friends. There's a This is the best day ever. make any like massive claim but I feel pretty refreshed even my nose is starting to drain out I can breathe a little bit better it's a little over an hour being outside I needed that adding that to the list of basic things to do to improve my mental health who has time for that this smoothie elite as well we're getting fruits in today I feel like I'm actually resetting myself <laughs> the little things I've been doing certainly have been helping even though I'm definitely not New year, new me. I'm losing energy by the moment and I'm a little concerned because I have volunteering tomorrow and it's my very first volunteering shift, I guess, at 9 a.m. and I'm really hoping I feel okay for it. I just need to relax. I just need to relax. I need to turn my brain off and I need to relax. I washed my hair yesterday, but because of this hair oil, man, my hair, Fine hair is so difficult with hair oil, like I know it's so good for it, but you end up with just a greasy head of hair. And I'm not even putting that much in, just a couple drops. When it comes to health for me, I definitely have my ups and downs. As you can see, I'm very open about that on my channel. These last few years have been better, but when I moved to New York, I started out my first couple years or so drinking a lot because that's the only way I knew how to make friends and keep them outside of an educational environment, which isn't the worst thing. At least I was trying, but it was a learning experience for sure. I remember also feeling super depressed back in those days. So I went to a random doctor I found online who sat across from me in his office, handed me a paper survey, and without any verbal assessment, diagnosed me depressed with adult EDD, which I think is just now called ADHD. And he prescribed me a bunch of pills that I tried and I hated. So to this day, I don't even know if I trust that diagnosis. I've always leaned on evenings to myself to bring me back to a good place, whether it's you know going for a run or writing in my journal or eating something, whether it's healthy or a burger and fries. And just taking time to be honest with myself about how I'm feeling and more importantly, what I'm going to do about it.
I feel better than expected. I didn't sleep that much. At least like four and a half, five hours. But it's fine. I haven't been up this early for something here since my job. And this is exactly the time I used to wake up to be somewhere at 9 a.m. So I'm quickly getting ready because sunscreen. I have to be out of here in less than 15 minutes. Where I'm going is like 40 minutes away probably. I need a haircut. I think I'm gonna skip makeup today. It's kind of nice not to have to be putting on like pressed pants and a blazer. Not that I really wore a blazer that much. I definitely look nicer than this. Six minutes, COVID test negative. What's the deal? It's only two hours of volunteering. Something of mine just delivered. <laughs> okay, eight o'clock. See you on the way there. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film, if anything at all. But I'll feel it out. About to go in about finishing our breakfast. <laughs> I just chugged the Celsius. <laughs> Definitely gonna get coffee after this. <laughs> I'm excited. That was so fun. I met a couple new people and we packaged hot meals and cold meals and they looked really good actually. It only took about an hour. So it's only 10 a.m. and I'm in Harlem. So I'm gonna take the train downtown a little bit. I don't think I wanna go home just yet. I'm just gonna enjoy being out for a minute. We've made our way to Upper East Side now. I'm gonna find a coffee shop. Sky come bearing up before us. We hang on the hem of your gown. Blue sky come, promise not to leave us. Terry, not to our town. so long but I still stand that I think Trader Joe's hauls are kind of boring so we're gonna speed it up if you see anything you like that I got pause the video <laughs> I just woke up from an hour nap I definitely needed that. Coach Megan on Copilot only has me scheduled for a one to two mile run, and I usually only do one mile. I've really appreciated that over the last couple months of using Copilot, I've never had to think about what to do when it comes to exercises. It's all laid out for me, and all I have to do is show up. But even then, you know, I'm human, I'm not perfect. I think there was a week there where during Vlogmas when I was super overwhelmed and I missed a whole week of workouts. Initially, Coach Megan and I decided on like 25-ish minutes per session, but I guess when just life happens, we needed to make it a little bit more bite-sized. And I really did appreciate as well how Coach never guilted me or made me feel bad for it. She was very supportive. And getting back on track with my workouts and to moving forward with my fitness goals was actually, it felt easy because of that one-on-one -on -one coaching, that true human connection, like you're actually talking to someone who actually cares about your fitness goals and cares about you as a person. It's that human connection that makes Copilot 
so worth it to me. But also if you give the Copilot app a try and you get paired with a coach and you just don't feel like you're vibing, like no questions asked, you can get switched to another coach immediately. They're really there to support you at every step and your comfort is the top priority. Okay. One month, let's do this. Copilot is super easy to do from home, obviously, but if you're someone who's motivated by going to the gym, it's just as easy to do your workouts from there too. Besides the inevitable physical changes I've noticed from using Copilot, like, oh my God, I think I'm ready to attempt my first full push up with my knees up. Ah! my mental health has improved. It's so true that moving your body and getting outside does help even if it's cliche. Through these last couple months, using Copilot has reminded me that I don't have to do everything alone, even though I live alone. And this realization has greatly improved the quality of my life in what can be very isolating winter months. My fitness and health journey doesn't have an end to it. Now that I've found something that works for me, I feel inspired to keep going. I should not have done this. There's absolutely no reason, not a single reason why I should have just ordered takeout when I just went to Trader Joe's. I am just so easily influenced by things I see online. <laughs> there was this page, I don't even know who it is. I saw some really, truly delicious ramen on an Instagram reel that looked so good and the broth looked so, so good. <laughs> ordered some ramen for dinner. I'm still on my period. I want what I want. There's a lot here. Well, I got tempura, shrimp tempura as well. Diacong! This is exactly the ramen, I, the type of broth I wanted. Presentation is a wow. But two little pieces of pork for $15. Yes! I can't believe that we're almost in the middle of January already. This time of January is notorious for wanting to fall off of any intentions that you made for the new year or goals that you had, if you made any at all. But this feels like the first year in a long time that I don't feel like I wanna fall out of any health and wellness goals that I set for myself. And I feel that's directly because of Copilot and Coach Megan helping me to continue to work towards my goals, my health goals long term. Our mental health and our wellness is so much bigger than just a New Year's resolution. So make sure to click my Copilot link below or use the QR code on the screen to get 14 days free with your very own personal trainer. And to make things even better, Copilot has a special holiday discount happening right now of 20% off your first month on top of the 14 day free trial if you sign up before February 1st. So so don't miss out on that. A big giant thank you to Copilot for sponsoring my video today and to Coach Megan. Thanks, girl. <laughs> what a start to the year, getting sick. But it's okay, it's like my body's way of telling me just to relax. I have to say that when I started this video to now, I feel a little bit more direction and a little bit more at peace with where I'm at. I still have a lot to sort out, but I think I have a little bit more hope now that everything's just gonna work out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. The engagement really helps YouTube recognize my channel and push it out to other awesome people like you. Make sure to leave me a comment to say hi, and if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's a brand new year. I love ya. Bye. I can't reach the camera. Can we zoom in? There we go. Okay. <laughs>